Oh, it's, it's Dolores Fred. Send your pants hanging out. <laughs> Dolores Fred, there they are. She's 80 years old. She's playing from the retirement home. They've got a computer hooked up there. Oh, right. It's Dolores. <laughs> Dolores Fred. <laughs> ah, I'm so bad with pronunciation. Like dollars. Um, I'm sure percent has got some fans in the chat. Rooting for him. The 25% win rate, yeah, Presentia said last time in an interview, I usually don't do so good in Mystery Tournament, but is is on track to do pretty alright this time. Yeah, hey, what's the win rate? Huh. One and one. Better. 25. Mm -hmm. Looked good in the match of the Firemen, and then Andy was just a really tough opponent in that mini-golf game. Which had the... What was it? The fantasy chorus? <laughs> fantasy with the upside down first, and then not anymore? That was weird. Why was the first like... track upside down? And then the the perspective tricks that like were lies, basically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the holds that didn't really look like holds all of a sudden, like the back of the boat. <laughs> that was weird. It's like a long, thin strip you gotta hit the ball into. Everything about that game was weird. The 2D level with like the the faux gravity and oh, the yeah, water yeah. droplets the with water. collision, <laughs> and you just like hit the ball and hoped it was go it would go somewhere. What a mess! Crazy. And like a really limited number of strokes too. Like people had to keep undoing and getting a better setup to go through the water this time. And... Yeah, and Brosentia had the issue of running out of strokes and then not being able to go back, which, uh, like, fortunately didn't really matter because opponent finished anyway. But still, mm -hmm. it's it's problematic as a race. That happens. Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. I, I don't think we ever figured out exactly why that started happening in that moment. And Dollar is Fred um, lost in a puzzle game to Astolia. Sonic Brilliance. It's, uh, you push blocks it. And then Gravity Switch was a Gravity Switch game. Classic. That's Mystery Tournament, baby. Oh, that was the, the really long game. Yeah, with the, the programmer music. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited when we got to World 4 and I got to tune into the music for a little bit and it was the first one out of the bunch. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we already have a game. This one has been cooking for a while. Like the match, not the game. Uh, and the races are ready, so let's hurry it up a little bit. Alright. Dual snake. Not just one snake. Two of them. Oh, so they're not fighting. It's not a duel. Dual snake. Oh, duel snake? No, no, no. no. This yeah. is like battle toads. Just two snakes. Two snakes. Yeah. That level is hard in battle toads. I hope this is not like that. Supposedly, this is a puzzle game. Each... I mean, it's gotta be. They're gonna be <clears> 35 <throat> levels, which seems to be half. Maybe it's just because of Snake Bird. But you, like I, I see two snakes moving around on a grid. And I'm like, that's gonna be a puzzle game for sure. This screen alone, 35 levels that you just choose them from a grid. No platformer arranges their levels like this. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's right. All right, we're starting. I'm excited for this because the game I don't know about. No, no, you have to shine. You have to tell me all about this. Well, I didn't test this one, so we'll see. Ah. Well, a bunch of ranks on the leaderboard popped up. Your your two snakes are like a zipper. <laughs> essentially just going. Dollar Fred is taking a moment to learn the controls, and so it's just kind <laughs> of stylishly posing in the first room. And the blue snake. You must be able to turn around with the blue snake. Or you need to turn around in this room, maybe? Like that? Uh, Go on back? Rosentia is saying, Vast, not working for me. Ooh. Oh, it's not working for either one of them. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Just... You can go right and up, and that's it. Sorry. Oh, 
Or maybe uh -oh. maybe it's not a thing yet. Maybe we don't have Wast yet. Maybe it's that like the controls are very particular. The way that you can move and oh, no, we need just it. assumed. Wait. So if you well, back Sancho up into it. this. I mean, like, in this level you don't need to use it. Maybe you can't use it as a result. Maybe you can only use it if you need it. Yeah, see, now Dolores, Dolores Threat can do it. It's just first three levels. You don't need it, so you don't get it. Okay. Oh, you can shrink your Oh, Sokoban too. detected. There it is. Is that a loss? Oh, you can smash him. I was gonna say, I, I don't know a way to fix that if that is a loss. Do you need to push a block to catch you? How would that even work? Oh, you... Wait, no, huh? How does it work? How do you push two boxes there? And also be there? Hmm... <laughs> this is tough. The, this block that comes down from the middle seems like it's got to be there for a reason. Oh! Oh! Oh, you, you destroy can that one. on top of you. Okay. But wait. Uh, oh, and oh, you you don't need to be three long. You can make yourself less long. Oh no, it's gravity switch. Oh, this is there's like fifty thousand mechanics all at once. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. Okay, if you are upside down, are you like turtled? You can't do anything. So you need to like pre-flip. One death. Oh, I see. You oh, no, need to no, hit no. The... Presential, you need to hit the, the arrow with the left side of your stick. Yeah, you need to, like, curl around. Yeah. It's not a platformer. Oh, God. But I guess timing is important. Dollar is oh, right behind Brosentia. Prince of Persia. <laughs> Oh, and Dolorous Threat makes it through. Oh, Rosentia ma made himself small. That's smart. Oh. Is dead. Yeah, I mean, not so <clears throat> smart, but... These blocks are teaching you a little bit about how the, the switches work. Like, the green one turns on and off immediately. No, it's just two switches there. I Where's think the they're yellow? all the same. No, I mean two yellow switches. Ouch! There were, there were two yellow switches, which is why the yellow gate behaved. Yeah, but the green one's like snapping on and off as well. Oh. I'm sure not falling for the trap that I saw Dolores. <laughs> Dolores. Fall for. Get the blue, yeah, yeah. Need the blue. Get the red, and then get the other red, and then just like, no. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. I was a little scared. Once you get into the far, the far red one, you're good. So we're all tied up. I think Persentia has a way better grasp on how the snake moves. He like overtook. Yeah. Dolorous threat just in this level alone. <clears throat> like Persentia is, is doing this like move as a too long snake a lot more and a lot more confidently. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Ouch. Little respect to get failed. Just like... Oh, that was cool. The, the way it, like, slams its its body down in that horizontal way. Oh, in this one you just hold right. Yeah. Okay. But it's kind of, it's interesting, like, the, the way your snake moves as you, like, use up your full length. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Dollars right. Ouch. See how to do it. Ah, Brosentra should have. Uh, hitting the teal switch will make the box drop on further, and you you can't be in one of the yellow gates when that happens. Oh. Music. Oh, there we go. So you got to get real small. I yeah, guess. like this. This one. Now just keep going. I'm kind of a maze now. So we probably have to get to the green. The green. Just like like. And the green's gonna close the cyan, so you must not oh, be in oh, a oh. cyan. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Exactly. I mean, you could just not be in any gates, I guess. <laughs> That's always yeah, safe. Yeah, ju just be as small as possible, right? That's yeah. the wrong way, but you have to go Get there. To blue. Right. Become small, become small. It now. Yeah. Small, small, small. Red's all the way in the top left. Really? Go all the way over there. Just came from yeah. there. Small, small, small. Oh. Nice. Kind of a neat little fall onto the thing mechanic. Uh, you're gonna re-trigger Cyan. Which is fine. That's fine. But I, I agree with just being careful. There's no reason to, like, waste... There's no reason not to waste, like, a second or so becoming small just to be safe. Yeah. That's a level you don't want to redo. Oh, really? This, so in this one, you just have to look. Okay, the next one is yellow. Like the one that's missing? Yeah. So now in the yellow. It's like a Mario Maker 2. <laughs> yellow, and out of there. That's... Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I don't hate it, but it doesn't really teach us anything about the mechanics, which I think is important in levels game like this. Be like yeah, this. it's the same lesson as the maze of, like, pay attention to the colors. Okay, stay in the green, activate yellow, and then go up. Oh no, that doesn't... I mean, we have to go down here. And then... What's the plan? If the green leaves, it's dead. If the the yellow the yellow touches the other green, oh, goes all the way around. Uh, you can you can move while yeah, just like this. Oh, beautiful, nice. Because if you move uh, without retracting yourself, you will keep touching green. That like counts. Yeah. Okay, now unretract, I guess. Like just go back up, and fall down. I think that's the. Same. So red goes down and then immediately up again. I don't, I don't think that will kill you. Oh, there we go. Okay. I like this game. And Procentra is doing really well. I was talking yeah. in chat about how he's having a rough time in Mystery Tournament, but especially in puzzle games. Like last MT16 apparently went out to a puzzle game. It's looking really good. I mean, Mystery Tournament is infamous for having much more puzzle games than Cuso Grande does. You know, for, for better or worse, however you feel about puzzles, that is, it's definitely true. So, not surprised Presencia finds himself out of his element every time they pop up. I like this. Back plus some more? Yeah. But now you have to be... How does this work? Can you just climb to the finish? Oh no! <laughs> just, a, just a real quick self-kill. Just tap, tap. I think you just climbed to the finish from Teal. Or is this yeah, one Yeah, I mean, you you must touch yellow before Cyan, and so why is Cyan there if it's not then the final step? Yeah. So. Well, I mean, it could be that you go back to yellow or something like that, but I don't think the case. Oh, this work. I'll do the same thing, just make like a square. Make a smash boy. <laughs> Or you can just walk to the right, really. Really matter what you do here. Yeah, and then I think you just go to the finish. You just win. One, two, three. If you're long enough, seven, I don't know. You need to be seven squares, I think it's yeah, there enough. we go. One more. Yeah. You just need to be six, I think, because you can leave and climb at the same time. Yeah, I think I was accounting for that. Okay. In this one, you don't want to touch any rats, so you have to, like, make a thing here. Yeah, and then probably up here because why else would this be here and then the other <laughs> one oh that's good i like this yeah i was like no, you can't no, get all no, the way no, over no. to the other alcove ah. you have to go down stop yourself from falling touch the, the floor right. yeah snake bird experience helps here oh no, oh no. the idea of like i should put my face on the floor to stop myself <laughs> yeah snake bird that's is a real a... snake bird thing we're talking so much about snake bird. I mean, it's a puzzle game with snakes. Oh, nice solve from Dollars, Fred. Are they snakes? Are they... Are these snakes or zippers? Oh yeah, they do look like zippers. Alright, right, right, down, down. Or 
Yeah. Or just down right will also work. No! Dollar Shred do its head and tail flippy business. It, I mean, the, the puzzle that Dollar Shred is on is kind of unintuitive. Because you're not sure that detracting red, like the right side of the snake, will keep yellow pressed. Yeah. My percentage, right, right, down. No, 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 you came from there. Oh no. But maybe things are different for some reason. I don't know. Oh no, no, you came from here. But wait, that will also work if you go down. Oh, you can't go down. Because the gate is in Not big enough. No, no, it's, oh. the size isn't. Can't. Well, the, wow, the you gate have to hold the, the gate to be on the gate, and then when. Either, if either the gate falls, and then you fall. Right, down, down. Or the gate is there and you can't go. Right, right, down and then free. Doesn't really matter if you go down again or. There it is. <laughs> okay, that worked. <laughs> I don't. I really did this like a cool. Back trick. flipped off the edge of the screen. Yeah, it's like a cool trick. This level is Dollar free. Fred has not found this this tricky move. This level is free. You just go into hole. Oh, there it is. The dollar is Fred to the maze. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because that was a long... They were, um... Percentia was not done with the maze by the time Dollar's Fred was into the maze. Uh -huh. It was really that last level that's... You know, really put the gap. Level is also Did the free. snake will... Why is... Uh, there, why is there was sticking? a gravity error. error. Oh, okay. I, miss, I, was, I was getting caught up on the... Yeah. I'm like, is he just, like, making himself big inside there and just... Oh, in this one you have to destroy the box so that it spawns on top of you and then like snake bird. Yeah. So you, oh, this you is, retract all the... This is oh, the actual whoa. snake bird move. Yeah. The oh, old, in this the one you have, to, up right. you have to carry the box all the way up there. Yeah. Which isn't that hard, actually. If you just do the regular climbing motion, it'll push it up. It, it'll do it. And then do a snake bird at the end. Left, right, up. What they call or it left in up the right. business. An S turn. The S stands for snake bird. <laughs> Did fall down. I wonder if there's a way to do it without falling down. I don't think down. so. Hmm. It's that the optimal move. I don't know yeah, why there's... Right. Oh my god, imagine if Sancha had like, pushed all the way next to the gate. Dollar's Fred is on this level that Brasentia took a while on. This is an opportunity to catch up. Hmm. Our box will fall on blue. Oh, the, uh, so you push it one away, so that you go through the yourself? Yeah, so but actually, it gets small first. Push it all the way to the left, and then you go through the blue. No. Oh no! That was so wrong. A lot of stuff's happening. You need to hit the yellow, but the box needs to go on the yellow. Yes. That's the whole thing. You don't want to destroy the box at all. Just on the blue. And then all the way so to the left. So you need to get under the box. Yeah. Just go through the blue. All the way to the left. And then up, and up, then you up go there. Right down and then under. Snake, snake bird. Yeah, so this is good, except the box is not where it needs to be. Which I think Ouch. percentage sees. Oh! Didn't consider that. You're not allowed to go. <laughs> so Dollar is red, also not seeing the, the final move. Maybe not even the lay on the laser bridge move. Yeah, Brosentia saw that immediately. Very impressive. Yeah. Okay, so Brosentia has to be careful. I'm not sure. I, I would not just. I would go and not even go. Th oh, wow. I was going to say. I would move in a way that I wouldn't even be in danger of falling down on the red switch. Brosentia didn't care and it worked out. Oh, your butt's got a snake bird this along top of you. Yeah. Oh, it's just a really annoying move. Beep, 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 beep. Surely we must have been like, tw in like 20 levels. Well, you can push multiple boxes. Oh wow, make Soko Brandy tank. <clears throat> Do the snake bird move, put it on... Oh. oh! And then you have to get one all the... It already taught you the repeatable move. No! Uh. Wrong move. 
This game doesn't have an undo, does it? That's right. Soko bird. There aren't even any birds in this one. It's only snakes. Thank you. So, do you need to be mindful of, like, which block is the one you're moving that, to the blue switch? That's what I was thinking, but I don't same? think it matters. Okay. But you, you can't drop it below you. Oh, Dollar Shred laying on the laser bridge. Good. This is step one. Just the finish after this. Ouch. Well, you went, went for it. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Needs yeah, yeah, yeah. To... Let's push this to the right on top of him. Oh, yeah. Retract blue? No, 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 no. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Now you can snake bird it up there. No, 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 no. Mid with Just the red. Just need to anchor the blue one underneath you. Oh, beautiful. There it is. That's a solution. Tension's running away with this. It's like eight levels ahead or something. Quite a lot. Yeah, some of those were were pretty straightforward. Oh, Procentia has um, to reset. Ah, oh, these it. You have to push the right block. Oh wait, I guess you don't have to reset. But so Procentia needs to destroy yeah, the one in the it. hole, and then also this one. This has to destroy both blocks. Yeah, beautiful. And I get them out of the way. Luckily, yeah. you can use the level edge as a wall. And now you destroy this block. Ah, oh, Procentia is. Like, was, was talking badly about himself before the race when it came to puzzle games, but look at this. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty elegant stuff. It's, it's one thing to kind of stumble your way through a puzzle game, but to demonstrate the natural understanding. Whoa, it's like, what a catch. But Rosentia <laughs> figured it out immediately. That's, that's, like, that's not a natural thing to assume that there's, like, a timing element to this. Yeah, well, those gates were forcing you to get through with timing. So there was at least a little bit of a lesson. Okay. Dollar Fred is the gravity flipping. It doesn't It doesn't do a lot more with the gravity arrows. I would not put this box on this, like, what Sandra is doing. Because you can always do that at the end. But there's probably another reason why this box is Oh, to catch this other box. You put the right box beneath the left one. And then you can get it on top of you. Yeah, you like push the bottom box away, and unlike other games, the top box doesn't fall down and crush you. <laughs> that was a fun game. Person yeah. just sees that immediately as well. So this bottom box is gonna go. Yeah, That's screw okay. the bottom box. Oh, just do them both at the same time. Well, I don't know, maybe not big enough. To yeah, I don't think but... that works. All right, just right. Yeah, and now do the other one. Nice. Doros Fred solved the laser bridge one. I don't know. They, mm -hmm. I think they look like lasers. It, yeah, it got a little bit hung up on the gravity arrows in a way that I didn't expect. Hmm. How many boxes? Do we need all of them? No. You can destroy the yellow one after those two boxes fall down. Oh, wait, but can you? One final box needs to get up to the cyan at the end. Oh, you can't... And push the yellow yourself. I was like, why, why did Procentia die? <laughs> Probably oh, push this one. Use the down. block to get up there. Yeah. And now, I don't know. Now you can just catch the second block with the first block when you smash it. I think you catch it with your. I like this. And then you go up there. Snake put box on top. Oh. And now I have no idea. <laughs> oh, you can... but you need three boxes. But I guess you can just destroy so the left you, one. you can use the right block to get the left block across by catching it. But it spawns up on the ledge, doesn't it? Oh. How do you get it back? And you can't destroy the left block anymore. You need to... Have the ledge block be the one that goes onto the yellow switch? Is that possible even? I don't think so. I think the one that has that goes on the switch has to be the one that spawns right there. Yeah. Percentage isn't resetting, which I'm not sure about. 
could be the right thing. I mean, there's there's something going. You're gone. Your mic just suddenly died. Oh no, I'm all alone. Smith, oh no. <laughs> oh, it's just left, I think. Miss, what's going on? Oh no. I think the way Brasentia had it is basically correct. This box goes where his left box is. Yeah, like this. So, so that you can do that. Go one more to the left, destroy the left one, and then go up there, push this box on the yellows. Yeah, push, push this one on the yellow switch. And then, the box that spawns on the ledge, I think that one goes on green. No, 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 oh no! Why are you destroying that? I mean, you can still solve this, but destroying that, destroying and this box is definitely wrong. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to get this box. So yeah, this box goes here, you can get the box from the top back down. And then I think you just push the box on the top on the green. And then you, you have two boxes that spawn like on top of you and you can use both of them to get both the red and the teal switches. Pretty free. Doing those repeatable moves, climbing like, like we've done. The Brucentra just has to be a little careful getting the box that is now on top of the other two boxes. It is on top of his snake right now. Uh, onto green. Doesn't really matter which one. Could also put it on, on red if he's feeling fancy. Goes for green, sure. And then this one goes on red. Destroy the left box. Yeah, this will work. And then destroy the this this spawned box in a way that it on top of you, and now you can like snake bird it up there. Wait, can you? Yeah, you can. Just move to the right. Red to the right. Wait, no, can you? Oh no, I think he put the wrong box. I don't think this left one is gonna work. Is it? Huh? No, wait, huh? Could that have worked? But wait, no, yeah, I think this works. The way he had it. So up, up, right, and now with the blue you can push this to the right. Yeah, there we go. And then snake bird move. This is soft. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh my god. Is it a boss? Oh, we just switch gravity so this box inside the boss room falls on blue. And then what do we do? Wait, how do we get back up there? Wait, no, that would have worked. We just had to touch the, the up arrow. But maybe we have to get these boxes uh, in position first so we can climb back up to the up arrow. Okay, destroys these boxes. Probably good, I don't know. What the what is this? Like a like a backpack, but it's very edgy. 
for a manta ray, but it's very edgy. Let's put Sancho down. Put a box up here. We know we, no, we have to press... I, I, I feel like the first step is definitely getting that box inside the boss room question mark onto the blue. The question is, how do we touch the arrow? Like before that, after we touch the right arrow. I don't know where we're going. Do you have a max length? Yes, you do. And it differs for every level. This one is pretty long, but there's also a lot of space you could cover. So, Brosentra has to touch up, right, down. But I think you need to use these boxes in order to actually reach these arrows. Oh, that's interesting. Didn't like one because it would die of percent. I don't know where Brosentia is trying to reach the down arrow first. Brosentia has to hit the right arrow. No, but uh, why, why did you do this? You had to touch right first. But, I mean, I, I, I like that we found the solution to that part of the puzzle. Down. And now, how do we touch right? Can we just go up there? Probably not. But we only need one box. Oh no, he moved the box too far. Otherwise it would have worked, I think. I think one box... Like... Two tiles, or like one tile away from the red gates enough to reach the right arrow. So just this, and then get on top of the box that you're like... not really sitting on, but almost. Okay, yeah, I like this. Let's see, it's not even necessary. You <laughs> just... Now destroy the boxes. Because you want them on the left. Now up again? Yeah, I like this, because he knows uh, you can touch the down arrow with the boxes in their spawn position and the gravity being up. So he knows this is a solvable state. Like that. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. To the right. I'll retract a little. You want this not to drop right next to the wall. You want it to drop one further, otherwise you can't push it. This red to the left. Yeah, 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 yeah. One more. Push it down. Beautiful. Now to the left, get here, arrow, and now get to the middle. I don't know. It should be free, just get on top of the box, get inside the blue gate thing. It is just free. Essential, just go. You're so long. It's okay, yeah, sure, whatever, build a thing if, if you want to show off. We got unlimited power. Oh my god, we're so long. That's done. Time of 30 minutes and 14 seconds. I think that was a really good performance. It's really well, like, never really getting stuck on anything for too long. It was the one level with, like, the... Uh, the big bridge where you had to fall down at the end, which kind of reminded me of Box Boy now that I think about it. 
which, which gave a little bit of issue, but not really. There, there were those puzzles where you had to put specific boxes in specific places, which were a bit of a hiccup, but also nothing really big. That was just really good, like a really good performance, I think. Hello, Brucentia. You know it would help if I actually had my mic on? Hey! Unfortunately, my co-commentator power cut off. So, I'll have to do. But you're, you're pretty easy to, to interview anyway. You're kind of doing it yourself. Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah. Good to, good to have you here, Maurice. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> no. Always a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, did you like this game? I love this game. I love it. I love it. I love it. it I think this is fantastic. It, it seemed to be very up your alley, you know, like understanding the way to, the, the ways the snake can move and move these boxes, especially. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd agree. It was definitely like. It jammed with me. It, it really worked for me. Let me let me go ahead. Uh, you'll probably need to capture the other players audio uh, in the meantime. But yeah, this, like. I mean, I have played some Snake Bird before, and that yeah. helps a little bit. That's uh, the comparison we made. Yeah, that, that's probably the one that helped me the most when it came to this game. Uh, Snake Bird's a fantastic puzzle game, but I'm actually extremely interested in this. This is such a cool idea. Like, It's a little bit like Snake Bird, but two of the Snake Birds got like, stuck end-to-end, -end, so it's like Cat Dog Snake Bird. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a I have a blanket on me actually that has there. There's okay. Weird side story in the furry community. There has been a huge uptick in what is it in in uh, the these characters that have like heads on both sides, very similar to cat dog. And there's a I've got a blanket that has a fox fox on one side and a coyote. They call it Yote Yota Coyote with two heads on each end. And it's just a good blanket, okay? So, like, as soon as I saw Snake Snake, I'm like, yeah, Snake mm. Snake. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. But yeah, it, I do see Dolores Fred uh, definitely was struggling with some of the mechanics. How do I move a box in the air? How do I keep it up? Yeah, how do you uh, keep it on top of you while also making progress? As soon as you figure that out, you can really plow through quite a few levels, just bam, 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 rapid fire. In this case, the lowest threat has problems figuring out, like, box priority. Like, which box goes on which switch based on the respawn position. Oh, I mean, I can't blame him. Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> weird. I feel like the game could, I don't know, have, like, a little icon in the background telling you where the boxes spawn or something like that. It... Yeah, that would be an improvement. It's a very small thing, uh, but it would make a big difference. Otherwise, you just sort of have to remember based off of what's happened before. And they're like, just based off of this, you probably won't be able to do it uh, perfectly unless you uh, like make it partway through a level and then restart. There was that one puzzle with like the big red laser or gate or whatever it is, uh, where you first had to dodge all the switches and then like activate it to get on top of it, and then at the very end you had to like drop down in a way that doesn't kill you. That one took you a little longer than the rest. Uh, it reminded me of Box Boy. Is that a game you have played? Yeah, uh, that one. Like, I'm trying to remember. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it definitely took me a little time, and I think I was just overthinking it. I was thinking, I have to be close to the end. I started kind of panicking a little bit, Maurice. <laughs> uh, and the panic is what led to me just, like, not being able to think that level through. And finally, I just had to, like, sit back and be like, okay, like, it's not this hard. You don't have to be a brain genius in order to do this one. You can do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, but I really like the whole idea of platforms 
appearing and reappearing that, like, a lot of the times you'll use a platform one single time, uh, but in this game it, like, it requires you to uh, both avoid getting killed by the platform and then get on the platform and then make it disappear again yeah. and then not make it appear again. Like, yeah, that, it's just level was cool. really clever. I, I liked the way boxes were reused. You know, there was the one level pretty early that taught you like respawning boxes is a thing you have to do and then like have it respawn on top of you and use this box over here because respawning it will put it on top of you stuff like that I, I think that yeah was yeah really yeah cool. the respawning well i i wasn't sure how that would work at first because the first time that uh i like saw the box appear as soon as you enter the screen you don't really see them spawn so like you're not going to know that it spawns a little bit up in the air. Mm. Uh, not only that, but one of the boxes uh, on that same stage, when I uh, destroyed it because my snake was in the way of where it would spawn. Oh yeah, that on the uh, last it didn't level, appear, I saw that. so I had yeah, I, I had to move out of it. So I thought, like that last level, I think it was pure luck that after a little while like i caused the box to appear on top of my snake i'm like oh i guess if you destroy it it falls a little bit okay didn't see that <laughs> uh and yeah if if not for that i that would have been a little tricky to figure out i i thought that i might have had to like not destroy the boxes the entire time and then i got to the end of that freaking level and i realized Ah, oh, crap. I didn't quite... Like, I knew that I needed to move that box around at the top. Yeah, in the bus. And in I the forgot about that. Room. Yep, I, I forgot about it, so... Mm. Yeah, you forgot to hit the up. right switch first. But it, it kind of helped you, because after you hit the right switch, and you had, like, a... You had a box on the left side with the gravity up, you knew that you could solve it. Oh, yeah. But now, oh my gosh. I assume the, the mechanic is that now you have infinite length. Yep. Well, this won't work then. Gotta be well, one lower. Is... Now, this is how you do it. Bam. Okay. Yeah. This is so cool. And I like this music too. Like. This is interesting because you have to constantly think about. You still need, like, an anchor somewhere. Oh, dude! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, imagine still thinking need about needing somewhere. an anchor. <laughs> imagine, imagine like needing an anchor of sorts. Yeah. See, that's commentators' curse. It still works. Uh, Good if job. you're in here, yeah. <laughs> I have to battle you next, right, Maurice? Yeah, our match is the next one. Shoot. Well, okay. I'm I mean, ready to uh, lose. I think you're. Performance in Dual Snake was great. I don't think many of I'm... us, like the, the 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 mystery tournament veterans, could have done much better. Really? Ha ha! Everybody, you heard it. I'm the best. <laughs> this looks complicated. It's official. Okay, I'm worried. Okay, I thought. That oh, this might is kill literally me. just a snake bird level now. There's that one bonus level. You gotta go You're... through all the oh, things. Oh yeah, I. I had people uh, play Snakebird for the GDQ Hotfix, actually, and that was a lot of fun. Okay, you just got to change the priority around a little bit so that you can get... I think you had it. I think you, you go through blue and then through the <laughs> yeah, blue yeah, gate. Yeah, I think... Ouch. Cut your head off. That's... Eh, he deserves it. <laughs> like, if I do this... But yeah, I mean, and then you were saying go through the. Oh hi, they're kissing, they're in love. No, no, blue with the red one. Blue with red. Yeah, the one thing that I'm gonna complain about this is how much uh, reliance on being able to see color there is because I'm oh. colorblind and. Oh yeah, we, uh, we didn't even ask for that, did we? Nope. <laughs> I'm not that. Colorblind. I'm a little colorblind. No. Okay. Go back out of green, and then use the red snake. Are you backseat gaming? Yes. Use the red what... snake to go through the blue gate and then through the green switch. You know. You know what I'm gonna do because of you backseat gaming. Blah. You're not gonna die, snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 
I love it. <laughs> nah, it's it's silly to me. What if I go like this? Then bam. You keep doing the same things. I think you're doing this on purpose to drive me crazy. It's because I'm talking and playing at the same time. Uh, so I probably am doing it slightly on purpose, but that's all. Um, there. Where? There, there's no way this could possibly go wrong. Yeah. Aha! I'm a little bit behind. I know how to sever snakes, okay? that That's oh, yeah. the important thing. Killing snakes. I mean, snakes You are... just gotta. Snakes can be a big problem on, like, farms and stuff. Yeah, stupid snakes. Um, but I mean, it's been like 12 minutes since you finished, and Dolorous Threat is like yeah, four this levels is from the finish. Yeah, this is not a game that worked for him. Yeah. And that's fine. Not every game works for everybody, you know? Let's just... This is my new snake home right here. If you, if you don't solve He's this level... He's very happy. He's very happy, okay. If you don't solve this level soon, I'm gonna get mad. You're gonna get mad? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I guess I better <laughs> what do what Maurice do? wants me to, huh? <laughs> Maurice is mad. My power cut out. Sorry, everyone. I'm here. Congratulations. I, Thanks. I saw some of the interview, at least. It, I mean, it looks like we're beyond that now. We're just kind of playing the game together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're listening to Maurice complain about me playing the game. The way that I want to play the game, which yeah. is you by should trolling want him. to you should want to solve the puzzles. <laughs> you no, have to take everything this guy says with the biggest grain of salt. <laughs> yeah, puzzler dumb, Maurice. What are you talking about? <laughs> I can't believe Maurice finally gets to like actually have the people playing listen to the things he says. Yeah, can I tell you the number of times we're we're commentating a puzzle game or something, and he's like, "No, go left," and it's um, I have to be like, "They can't hear you, Maurice." I... <laughs> but now finally they can. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. So, oh, man, he's not even trying to solve the puzzle, Maurice. No, puzzles are dumb. Why would I even try? It's done with puzzles. See ya, I'm just killing snakes. Killing um, time, killing snakes, gotta do a little bit of both. But with this win, you're actually 2-1 in MT17. Is this your best performance? I think it is! Nice. It's really good, and you, you had like different games too. It's not like we could say, oh, it's because you got two, I don't know, racing games or something. <laughs> yeah, I uh, did not get two racing games indeed so what i gotta do okay okay are you, are you trying to Maurice solve the puzzle a little bit more nah no? puzzle nah <laughs> very briefly i think was trying to solve the puzzle and it was like eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. see so that's how you do it you kill the snake you keep doing this <laughs> that's because i'm talking i can't use my brain when i'm talking maurice that's not how brains my brain works anyway Maybe uh, that is how brains work. Now look, it's perfect. Go we've, through blue with solve. red. No. <laughs> through no, the blue no, gate with like the this. red hat. No, you go th like this. no, that's okay. the blue hat. See, you can kiss your body. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yeah, that, that's just wrong. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> we're tangoing. Yeah, tango, tango. Woo. Oh, there's a lot of uh, puzzle types pencil and paper puzzle types where you're kind of drawing a snake and then a snake is sort of defined as a continuous you know, loop? Or an orthogonal set of cells that oh, you not, did it they're not adjacent on a but the, basically the snakes can't touch themselves is the, yeah. the way that they're defined and this game is just all about touching all, all up on your snake you did it oh this is like an earlier puzzle <laughs> oh i love that okay okay that's kind of silly so no wait wait what you gotta do is go like this we see yeah Whoa. you got me a snake that was good yeah you see i'm pro i'm pro snake in here and then this is like the same puzzle but smaller 
yeah. Oh no. That's okay. So now you got a snake. Oh, nice. It's just repeating, but it's also the same puzzle as in the real one. <laughs> when you like fall down past the green. Yeah. We've got the forfeit. It's official. Yeah. Oh no. Well, that is how it goes. I'm crying. But it's okay. That that like again, like I say, not every game works for everybody. Yeah, and not every game works for everybody in a race. Like the, there's been some puzzle games where I'm like, this is I am having fun with this puzzle game. But I don't want to do this on the clock, you know? Yeah, yeah. I really, really like the idea of this game, though. It's so cool. Uh, and honestly, I th this is a game that, like, I could see myself playing for a long time, even. Haha! -ha. You thought that I was dead? No, I snake. <laughs> we've, we've cut away from your I gameplay, cut away, so, so I don't have to. Have to... For it. I don't... So you don't have to be ashamed? Well, not ashamed, but, like, the, the urge to tell you what to do. He knows what he's doing is bad. He just can't help yeah, himself. It's a me problem. It's not a you problem. <laughs> it's a it's a you problem. Okay, okay. I gotcha. Oh my gosh. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Did you? I mean, you, there was the forfeit, right? So it's always like maybe they had a bad time, but like I don't know. Maybe you did like it. You just got stuck. Basically that. <laughs> For most of it, I felt like uh, it was going well, but there was like there were like two stages or so, uh, or so where I got really stuck, and the last one I just couldn't figure out. So uh, at that point, the race was over. So I thought, yeah, you know what? Let's yeah. save some time. <laughs> oh no! Honestly, <laughs> like uh, that's okay. Th this game just—I really, really like this game. Let me let me just say, I didn't expect to like the game quite this much. And then suddenly, bam. Here I am just trying to get through more levels. Uh, You're still playing. <laughs> well, yeah, I I am currently at infinite snake length, and this makes for a really fascinating puzzle. Like, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah, I'll probably finish the game as well. It's just like the race setting and stuff, you know. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know and if that's... Maurice got a chance to ask you earlier, but have either of you played Snakebird before? Yes. Uh, yeah, I've played. actually made people race Snakebird before, so it's that's definitely in my set of games that I love. Uh, and I'm trying to think. With, with Snakebird... Uh, Okay, there we go. I got it. <laughs> Still with, solve with... it over there. <laughs> well, I look. It, the Could game you imagine? Is up. It, I'm talking. It's right like the now. hockey game or something, and the interviewer is like trying to talk to the person, and he's still like stick handling the puck on the ice doing the interview. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm imagining that now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, what do I need to do? That's the question. How about you, Fred? Have you played Snakebird before? I have not. I actually had to, to check on Steam what it was. It doesn't seem familiar, but like looking at that bird thing, it, I can see the similarity. Yeah, the, the some of the movements and the way you can kind of hook yourself on things, I bet, you know, Bersentia probably there was some natural sort of synergy with this game. Oh, it definitely helped. Yeah. Uh... Not a hundred percent, you know. There, there's a lot to Snakebird. Yeah, it's I a... mean, you can move your butt in this game that you can't in Snakebird. That's a game changer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you control like with Snakebird, you only control from the front of the snake, and uh, that that can make for some pretty pretty big complications. Honestly, Snakebird is like the biggest galaxy brain game in my opinion. It's just like extremely simple concept that is incredibly incredibly difficult and it's like the 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was like 30, 30, 40 stages in that I got to a level that I'm like, this looks like the simplest level that has existed in this game, and I cannot figure this <laughs> freaking thing out. And I yell at, like, Snakebird is my most angry puzzle game that I've ever played. Every once in a while, if I need to feel hate, I pull up Snakebird and I play. I love it. It's amazing. But holy that's, crap. That's saying something. You've played La Mulana. Uh, yeah, well, La Mulana's puzzles are stupid. Uh, Snakebird's <laughs> puzzles are genius. So there's the difference. Now, La Mulana is like, what is it? Uh, the there are hints all over the place, but honestly, like, you just can't figure out some of them uh, very quickly. And like it, mm -hmm. uh, it's moon logic. Snakebird, it's like no, it's very, very, very basic logic. It's just that no matter, you know, those like metallic puzzle things that have two pieces connected. But and it looks like you Ooh, cannot yeah, get yeah. them apart, but like if you fiddle around with them or just right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you move them just right, and then bam, they're separated now. It, that That's what Snakebird is. It's like you look at something, and it's like there's no way this should be possible. But then it is. And it's, it's just really cool. Uh, this game is a little bit like that as well. I'd say that, like... Uh, Especially towards the end of limited snake length, uh, it starts getting that way. So I, I don't blame you, Dolores Fred, for like I, I think that you had a bit of a rough time with moving boxes and stuff, especially boxes that because uh, you only have five segments of length for your double snake. Like it, it gets a little bit complicated there. Yeah, I really got get like um into my head in a, a way that I thought was correct and I couldn't get it to work. And so I yeah. got stuck in, 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 in like an infinite loop. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Um, happens. It, it, it's a puzzle game. Sometimes you just have a day where you, you know, get stuck on that kind of stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, the music for the next section of stages, by the way, is so good. This is, oh my gosh, Infinite Snake Link music, so good. You have to listen to it, okay? Like, I, if this is somewhere on uh, YouTube for the OST for this game, I'm going to add this to my uh, music playlist for my shows because it's just so Ooh, good. That's high praise. Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I mean, I also have, like, some uh, a handful of really really crappy song but this is good. Like I, i've seen that playlist i have occasionally played it myself but <laughs> there's a lot of um less than stellar music on there let's let's put it that way all right i rescind my praise then no uh, okay it's either <laughs> i mean there's Stel also like katamari and um uh, for instance i would say that it's about 90 percent of the best and then about 10% of the worst, because occasionally you need the worst in life, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I, I think that's all that I have. Just pure praise, Fred. I'm glad that we got to battle it out and... Uh, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably going to finish this game myself. I'll right, probably just... take a look as well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I can All get right. past that, that puzzle. <laughs> yeah, I, I I, think that you can. Once you start learning out some of the... Uh, like, you started getting the climb with the third block, and you were doing good there. It's just a little rough. But yeah, I, I, I think... That's stuck. I'll, just, uh, I'll just take a look at what you were doing in the race and... Uh... Yeah, you, you should. Can go from there. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take off from the stream then. Thank you so much for the race. And Maurice, I'm excited to lose to you. This is going to be great. Like I said, I think your performance was really good. I'm not sure how much better, if at all, I could do. Uh, well, I... Look, Maurice, every time you've entered a race that I have been in, you destroy us. I really hope that you have corn dance syndrome, though, where you do better when it doesn't matter. Oh. 
<laughs> well, he's done pretty well under some high pressure situations, so I don't know if that's necessarily true. Uh, yeah, well. Best that's of okay. luck to yeah. you in that match, to both of you, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do my best, and if I don't win, then we're gonna let Maurice go and destroy the rest of the tournament. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's always good if the person who beats you does well, because then you can be like, oh, yeah, I mean, I lost to this really good guy. Oh, well, we we were both assuming that we're gonna lose to you, Maurice, so that's just like... <laughs> oh, no. Whose we're head like, gets well, placed okay, on the executioner's block first? Yeah, I, I get to be publicly executed. That's gonna be fun. No. Well, Dollar Thread, you've been executed, I guess, is the metaphor we're using uh, for Mystery Tournament 0017. How was it yep. overall? Well, I net my first win this uh, this year, so... Hell yeah! Some... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, um, that always feels so good to yeah, get that first good. win. I was really prepared to go, like, 0-2 uh, again, so um, I'm at, like, 1-5. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's getting better. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This puzzle is galaxy brain. Also, all of the puzzles <laughs> in this game are galaxy brain. If Freaking you want to check out what the rest of what Dual Snakes has to offer, you can you can just go get it, I guess. You can probably search for it pretty easy and get it. It is free. It's free. Uh, if you want to see more mystery tournament matches, you're going to have to come back later. We're all out for now. What? One coming up in five hours. I know that's a lot of hours. Oh, so many hours. Gonna have to like, I don't know, maybe play a game where you drive snakes around for a couple hours to fill the time. <laughs> I don't know. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, take care. I'm gonna go ahead and take off. See you, friends. Yeah. Goodbye. So are we. This Bye. Is do it for the Mystery Fun House. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll be back hopefully to pick up this match in five hours, and we hope to see you then. Take yeah, care. I may keep streaming on my own channel, so if you're watching on oh. my channel, then oh, you, can, you can stay around. Yeah, hold on, we'll, hold we'll on. Send you, we'll send you over even. Oh, okay, sure. It's probably just going to be Dwarf Fortress, so like not as exciting. <laughs> it's exciting in its own way. I love the stories. Yeah, that come out. they need to die. <laughs> okay, bye, friends. Goodbye.